Hi, my name is Justin Levine. I'm a BMW Client Advisor and Accredited Genius here at BMW of Ben. And today, I'm going to show you how to set up the My BMW app so you can get the most out of your vehicle's connected functions. Keep in mind, while I'll be demonstrating this on an Apple iPhone, this should also work for your Android device. The first thing you're going to want to do is to download the My BMW app from the App Store or Google Play Store. It is as simple as searching for My BMW in the search tab and then downloading the application with an icon that looks like what's shown on screen. Once you have downloaded the application, you should open it so we can get started. There are some questions about tracking your data across applications, and that is totally up to your personal preference. It has no effect on application functionality. You can log in using the app, which will take you to BMW's website to enter your user ID and password. If you do not already have a My BMW account, you can also set one up through the Register Here link on the login page or through the BMWUSA.com website. Once you have logged in, you will have to set a four-digit PIN. This is to keep you safe and also keep some security to your vehicle's remote functions. You can always opt in to using Face ID or Touch ID in the future if you do not want to enter your four-digit PIN every time that you use your vehicle's remote function. Once I have set my PIN, I can go ahead and explore the My BMW app. I can look at latest BMW news, check on my vehicle status, and also edit my profile. Adding your vehicle is the gateway to so many more great features of your BMW. Keep in mind, not everyone can register using your vehicle's VIN. You'll need to have your car around because it will send you a message to authenticate that you are trying to connect it. In the home page on the app, I can go ahead and tap the Add My BMW button. And this will bring up a screen that allows me to type my vehicle identification number in. Once I've done that, I can select whether I will be the main user or not. If you have multiple drivers with multiple My BMW accounts, only one person can be the main user. If you're not the main user, just select the no under the prompt in the options. If you're not seeing your vehicle show up immediately in your app, no worries. Go ahead and just close and reopen the application and your vehicle should show up. Once I've entered my VIN, the app will prompt me for a security code. Following the prompts on my phone screen, I can go ahead and get into my vehicle and search for that authentication code within the messages section of my BMW's iDrive system. Upon entering this code, you will link your vehicle to your My BMW app. Congratulations. As you can see within the app, there are a ton of great features. I can check on my vehicle status, how many doors are open, how many doors are closed, certain remote features like locking or unlocking, turning on my car for preconditioning or remote 3D view, as well as sending destinations to my BMW's iDrive navigation. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you found it useful. And I hope sometime we'll see you here at BMW event. Have a great day. Kendall, let's start something great.